God, I just, I don't know what to do from here. I think a toddler with plastic scissors could probably give me a better haircut than I gave myself. Hello. In two days, I'll be going to uh, the Australian Fashion Week. Uh, this is me the last time I went to Fashion Week. This is probably eight years ago. This is me now. It's been a long and hard panini. For me, 2022 is the year of transformation. I'm also interested in exploring designer fashion as well because in the past I've talked a lot about fast fashion and I have lightly dappled in the world of paying $800 for a skirt. But up until now, I've never really taken the fashion industry that seriously. Well, all of that is about to change with my very first guest attendance at Australian Fashion Week. I've been invited by some Australian designers to attend their fashion shows and I want to make sure that I look as fashionable as I possibly can. And there's something about my sideshow bob hair that's not really screaming Getty images, please take a photo of me. So over the next few days, I will be transforming myself from this to hopefully something like this. I went to a work function for my husband. People were like, well, you look like a supermodel. That's very kind of you. Now the two main things about my look that day. One, the freshly bleached platinum blonde hair that was slicked back. That's the main part. It's got to be slicked back. Slicking the hair back takes it from that to editorial or Draco Malfoy, depending how you look at it. And the final thing, which is arguably the most important thing, was my skincare routine at the time. When I took that picture, I was in the middle of filming a video about trying out a $800 luxury skincare routine. It's the best my skin has ever looked and ever will look in my entire life. And since I stopped that routine, I've tried two different routines since then, and my skin has gone progressively downhill. I still have the products that I use during that routine, and uh, I do only have a couple of days left until Fashion Week, but I'm gonna start using them again morning and night, and I'm also going to introduce a couple of new products too. All right, now it's at this point that I need to say the biggest thank you to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Thanks to Honey, I was able to splurge on some new luxury skincare products to help me with my glow up. If you don't know what Honey is, Honey is an online shopping tool that you add to your browser that searches the internet for promo codes to help you save on purchases with a simple click of a button. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's literally just a browser plugin that's completely free to install. If you want to try it for yourself, go to joinhoney.com slash prettypastel and start saving money on tons of your favorite websites. That's joinhoney.com slash prettypastel. And with that, Let's test out this new skincare. It's pretty risky of me to be adding in new skincare that I've never used before a couple of days out from an event because there is always the chance that my skin is going to not react, but take a little while to get used to the product. I could possibly end up with some blemishes, but I'm hoping that won't happen because this is the brand Quarterly. Now I bought this because Tati recommended this brand and also because when I went on the Sephora website and I sorted skincare by price, highest to lowest, this was the most expensive thing that came up. I know, I know, you do not need the most expensive skincare products to get good looking skin, but it worked for me last time. And because of the great success that I had, look, this was my before and after, after the luxury skincare video. Because of the great success, I was like, look, if I'm gonna get my skin looking supermodel ready in a couple of days, I probably need the $200 moisturizer and the $200 serum. You better work. I wish I'd thought to film this last night. I'm so annoyed that I didn't because yesterday my skin looked completely different to how it looks today. When I went to bed last night at 2 a.m. I was lying in bed thinking about how I was going to start my skincare routine when I woke up and then I was playing on my phone for another hour and then 3 a.m. came and I was like I could have just got out of bed and gone and put on some moisturizer or something. Why do I have to start tomorrow? Why not start now? So then I played on my phone for another hour. Then it was 4 a.m. and I was like, no, okay, I'm gonna go put some skincare on. So recommenced my old routine. I added in a couple of products from other skincare routines that I've been liking recently. And uh, the first thing I did was use Bye Bye Blemish by Some By Me. This brightened my face three shades. I had forgotten how good this is. My skin was looking very, very dull since I stopped using this. So that was great. That was the first thing that I did. Second thing that I did, Tatcha, the rice wash, absolutely magnificent product. Then I chucked on Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid, Good Jeans by Sunday Riley, a Tatcha Revitalizing Eye Cream, and the Luna Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. And can I just tell you, I have woken up and I have been reborn. My skin, my skin is so much tighter right now. That, in just one single session, 
really, really, really helped. So I'm gonna add in the Caudalie products and I'm also going to add in a vitamin C from Sunday Riley and a brightening and depuffing eye contour cream. I have no doubt that my skin is definitely gonna get better over the next few days. So take one last look at it. This is what I look like right now. And now I'm gonna commence my morning routine. All right, so I'm gonna try the Caudalie stuff. The products I got are called the eye cream, the cream, the precious oil, and the serum. Yes, they really do just call their products the cream. <laughs> Hello, I would like to purchase the cream, please. Uh, which one? V1. So let's go with the vitamin C. Oh, okay, it's white. The one that I've been using up until now, actually every vitamin C I've used up until now has been a clear liquid. So uh, this is, ooh. Oh, a nice texture. Oh, wow. Goodness, it's very soothing. <gasps> oh, it stinks. Oh, God, it smells like Pino Clean. All right, I'm going to leave that to soak in because as I learned in my last skincare video, the vitamin C was far more effective when I gave it like half an hour to soak in. I'm not saying you always have to do that, but the days that I put it on left it for five minutes and then went over the top versus the days that I put it on left it for 30 minutes and then came back and carried on with the routine, enormous difference in the reduction of my fine lines. So I'm gonna let this do its job. I'm gonna go have two glasses of water with some lemon, cause uh, that's what Dita Von Teese taught me in my Dita Von Teese morning routine video. All right, so it's been 20 minutes and I'm shocked. Look at this, look, I wonder if you'll be able to see. Look at my forehead. I... <laughs> do, do you need reminding of what I looked like 20 minutes ago? It's literally lifted, oh my gosh. All right, first step in the quarterly routine now. Let's go in with the serum. I don't know which one came first, but something about that makes me chuckle. All right, it's very, very runny. It's a Sort of clear-ish serum. Smells, oh, smells like grandma's. It literally, it smells like every 90 year old house that I've ever been to. It's like potpourri, you know, dried flowers, roses, lavender. All right, it's quite sticky, quite sticky indeed. I'm gonna try the oil now. I haven't used oil uh, during the day. The go-to face hero oil that I've used, I always use that at night, so, ooh. Not sure how I'm gonna like using an oil during the day. This is very runny. Now, it said it was a dry oil. Hmm, it is drying down very quickly. Okay, all right, I'm not as worried as I was. I was like, hmm, putting on oil during the day, I'm gonna look like a beef patty glistening in the sun. But no, no, this is actually drying down. It's very pleasant. All right, on with the cream now. It's a good size. I'm glad for the price that I paid, I'm glad that there's 1.7 fluid ounces, 50 mils. It's like $10 a mil. Oh, stronger scent, this one, much stronger. Oh, it's a nice thick cream. Oh, lovely. Oh, damn it. I didn't use my hyaluronic acid. I've actually missed a few steps. I think I should have put the Sunday Riley good jeans on before I put on the quarterly serum. And I probably should have done my hyaluronic serum before that too. Hmm, I'm gonna just play around over the next few days because the order that you use your skincare in really does make a difference. But the last one that I'm going in with for now is the eye cream. Very small, 0.5 fluid ounces, 15 mils. This toucher one contains the same amount as this big old bottle. Don't be bamboozled by packaging, folks. Hello? Hello? Are you kidding me? This is either expired or the texture is so thick that it really should be in a pot, not in a squeezy pump thing. Once I can no longer fit my finger in the hole, that's, that's it. There is not going to be any more cream for me. I'll just store this upside down so I can easily scoop it. All right, and the last step of the morning, always wear sunscreen, folks, even if you're inside. So uh, I am using my all-time favorite sunscreen by Mecha Cosmetica. 
it's Australian, don't think you can get this overseas. I pity those of you that can't, it's the best sunscreen in the world. All right, that's it for the skincare routine. My hairdresser is going to be here very, very soon. And you're probably wondering why I want to talk to my hair more, even though I did say I'm going back to red, guys, that's it. That's, that's it, that's the end of the hair coloring adventures. But you know what, life is short and so is my hair. If the condition is really bad, once I get it bleached, I'll just give myself a buzz cut and start again. Okay, so. don't, don't be mad, but I've, I've destroyed my hair. That's um, right, I guess that. <laughs> You know, everything. 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 So basically, um, I just want the whole thing bleached, and yeah. I just hacked okay. at it with scissors. Yeah. So I, I don't necessarily want to make it shorter, but I think that once you bleach it, I think it's going to go really free, like really yeah, awful. Yeah, it's gonna. So the just going to be. Yeah, take off whatever unhappy. you need. Whatever is yeah. unhappy, you can take off. Okay. I really don't mind. I, I have this picture of Anne Hathaway that I really liked. Ooh, so okay. I like the idea of being able to like Still sort of do something with yeah, the top. Yeah, I like how so this is long. So we do more of like a disconnect kind of haircut so this bit's long yeah we lose a little bit more length off here so that it can go yeah. back and not look yes that's ideal something like that yeah cool I think you I think you get yeah. it yeah I'm just I'm happy for you to just take off whatever needs to go cool. Sounds good. unless you say all of it needs to go at which point oh, please don't look, do it. We, we will see I'm so excited to go back to blonde I thought that I was I, I was like oh I really want to go back to my natural color and I can't recreate my natural color no, so anything that's not my natural color I'm not happy with I'm just like yeah. nah. Once it's blonde, I'll leave it as blonde and then we'll keep trimming until eventually it's only the regrowth and then it's my natural color. Like instead yeah. of me trying to, I have mixed that many concoctions of red. I've been like, I'll put some red, and a little bit of orange, a little bit of brown and like some yellow in there and nothing can get my natural color. Nah, nothing. <laughs> so you frustrating. Never, once you've changed it, yeah. it never comes back. It's gone for good. I'm, I'm going to um, fashion week next, like this coming week. I've got some outfits that I have to wear for certain brands that invited me to their shows. And yeah. I was like, oh, it, well, I tried on one of the dresses and it looked ridiculous with the, with the, hair. With the weird Pauline Hanson red hair. So I was like, yeah, nah. It is Pauline Hanson It's hair, so isn't Pauline Hanson, it? it's so bad. So yeah, oh, I thought, Pauline oh, Hanson. Blonde is a I mean, it's neutral. almost a little bit Julia Gillard. No, I don't believe it. That's even worse. No, is that, a, no, that's not as bad. No, Pauline Hanson's worse. Pauline Hanson's worse. <laughs> Pauline Hanson's much worse. Wow. <laughs> That's nuts that like the regrowth bleached so easily. Yeah. That that was fine. But, <laughs> but Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Is there any hope? Do you think it will come out? Yeah, I reckon we can get it out. Okay, alright. You did such a good job. It's exactly what I wanted. Yay, I love it. I love how see I can like run my fingers through it and it just yes, sits. And it doesn't get stuck. If you're oh. like, yeah, I want this pH 7. Look at your oh. hair! It's so cute! You like it? <gasps> nice! Yes, you look so good. Thank you! <laughs> Grace is here. I'm gonna go surprise her. She's got no idea I've done my hair. Yeah, yeah that's exactly why you made it too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, sisters, kind of, kind of you like point. it? Twins! <laughs> I do. Oh, just it just happened. I'm just, just an hour ago. I'm <laughs> processing like your hair. I look more high fashion now, right? <laughs> they look so much like Pauline Hanson. <laughs> Pauline Hanson. Oh, Please you guys look, look at the sunshine. Good morning. It's the next day now, so I've officially done my skincare routine in the morning and at night once. And this is how my skin's looking. It looks so different already. Only problem is. A little pimple has come up here. So I put one of these pimple patches on it. These things, they are so good. Blemish patch. You can get these from all different brands. It's just a little sort of sticky pad like that. And you put it on your pimple and it sucks all of the juice out of it. That's done its job very, very well. The pimple is almost gone. It was a big juicy boy last night when I went to bed. So time to commence the morning routine. Good morning. I'm gonna miss you guys while I'm gone. Mm, I think the hardest part for this morning for me is going to be deciding whether I'm putting my hair sleeked back or if I'm gonna try to wear it like I had it yesterday and kind of have it soft and forward. See, I, I like it soft and forward like that, but yeah. the sleeking back, it feels a little bit more high fashion, but then I gotta put goop in my hair. I don't really wanna put goop in my hair. Maybe, I think with the outfit you have today, I would go soft. Yeah, yeah. So don't mm -hmm. slick it back. Slick it back when I'm wearing the Moogler.
Even the bins are fashionable in Sydney on Fashion Week. Is that Dolce & Gabbana? Double denim moment, double denim. Hello, hello, welcome to day two. I'm wearing a blue marine top. I have, uh, nothing you're gonna be able to see, wait. I have wide project pants on, and I have this Alice and Olivia coat. I have my Prada re-edition, the nylon sparkly Prada bag that I've wanted for so long, and my face mask is by Aria. It's still day two, and uh, we raced back to do an outfit change just because we had so much time. Good thing we did, because the second that we turned up here and we went for a walk, down the street there. Photographers right, left and centre just snapping us. They're like, can you, put, can you pose in front of the Porsche for us please girls? And asking us, you know, what's the details of your outfit? And pink is obviously the colour of the season. All right, day three, first outfit of the day. I have a Marine Ser mask. I've got a Marine Ser jumpsuit. I've borrowed Lucy's coat. I've got Colt Gaia boots and my Fendi bag. Day four now, and I am wearing a Mugler bodysuit and my Y Project pants and my Fendi bag. Our backs are no! on the Vogue! Got my prawn posture on the Vogue website! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was the Vogue lady? That was the Vogue oh lady. Oh my god! Oh my god, wait, the Vogue lady was nice. Oh my god, slay. I have to call my mum. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on the cover of Vogue. Chris Jenner like, mm, two daughters, one Vogue cover. They're both fighting for it, that's us. It's absolutely amazing that two daughters are both gonna be on the cover of Vogue. Vogue, let your body move. Look guys, it's Kim. Uh, it's Kim, oh, you're vlogging, hi. Everyone said, say hello. You guys made this happen. You look absolutely incredible. Thank you. Tell us, what are you wearing? Tell I'm us, wearing tell Camilla. us. Camilla. 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 Yes, yes, star. Yes, star. You look yes. amazing. <laughs> It's the back of my head. <laughs> Yay! Love! You your dreams. My dreams have come true. The video is over.